Hey guys, um, I am going to kick off a challenge. It's our very first Pilates Punch challenge, and I am doing a pre-holiday challenge, and it's going to run from the day before Thanksgiving all the way until Christmas Day. Um, I don't know about you guys, but every year the holidays get super stressful. My birthday is in October, so for me it kind of starts from the end of October through Halloween, through November, all the way until New Year's Day, and on New Year's Day every year my resolution, if I make a resolution, winds up being something along the lines of like more self-care. Um, the holidays get super hectic and there are all these treats and there's usually parties and I guess like this year we're kind of off the hook for parties but um, there's just so much where like by the end of the year I feel terrible and I realize that I don't take the time for myself so I am creating a challenge that I'm going to do alongside with you and I hope that you'll take me up on it and it is going to be um, a video every day so we can remind ourselves to take care of ourselves so it's going to be either a full class length workout or a stretching video or a shorter workout so that you can just at least have that time and not freak out over like, oh, I don't have the time for a full 50 minute workout. And I have a variety of things. So every day there's a reminder to take that time for yourself. We're also going to have sort of this loose um, sort of food related plan that I'm not a dietitian. I'm not going to tell you what to eat. And it's not going to be weight loss focused, but it's going to be about um, feeling your best. And there are so many holiday treats that we love to enjoy, but it's just kind of more about this like mindful eating, which is just a reminder for myself. Um, and then on top of that, I'm going to offer some recipes. I'm going to do my best at doing like a weekly recipe video, but I'll also offer you a bunch of recipes that I enjoy. And um, there are a few extra bonuses, like 20% off at shop.pilatespunks.com. And you get to see my updates as I'm going along and doing this with you. So um, what it looks like, I have a calendar that I will be distributing if you join. And then I've got a longer whole thing about the spiel of what it all includes. And um, I'm just going to read this, right? Our 30-day challenge pre-holiday 2020. There's no denying that this year has been rough. From stay-at-home orders to losing work, businesses being closed, fear and anxiety over getting sick, worrying about loved ones, feeling alone, being around people too much, not getting to travel, not getting to work out at your favorite Pilates studio, having too much free time, not having structure, not knowing how to get into the groove of a home workout. It's been a lot. It's been hard to connect and it's been hard to get alone time. It's been hard for so many reasons and now with the holidays quickly approaching and those are already always so stressful, we're, we're right here, right? Pilates Punks wants to help ease your holiday season with a little support and encouragement to take care of yourself, which is why we're presenting the 30-day pre-holiday challenge. Look, Christmas M&Ms, the mint ones, they're the best candy ever invented, and I do have a vicious cycle of wanting to avoid them. Worrying that if I don't buy them now, I'm gonna miss out on them, and they're just gonna be out of stores, and so that I'll buy them, and then I'll overindulge, and then I'll kick myself, and I'll start the cycle all over again. And I'm saying this as someone who ate far too many mint M&Ms last night. And you know what? It's been a rough year, and I just need to have a healthy relationship with these Christmas M&Ms. And you know what else? I spend too much time trying to shop for people, attend holiday events, which, again, thankfully we're off the hook this year, but um, decorating, making people feel loved, taking care of other people who feel lonely, and every single year I end up with a resolution for self-care. So this year I'm going to be ahead of that, and I don't want to start 2021 with the feeling that I need to reset and fix what I screwed up in 2020. I don't want to feel like I lost a sense of myself because I'm too worried about making other people feel happy because I'm overindulging because I didn't take the time to care for myself. I want to relax on New Year's Day and reflect on 2020 without any additional stress or anxiety. And I want you guys to have that too. So I invite you to join me and this is what it looks like. Um, 
daily account a 30-day calendar of daily movement videos all pilates based but we'll have a range of videos from quick workouts to full length classes morning stretches and area specific focus videos this is meant to encourage movement but not guilt if you don't have the time to get a whole class in that's why we have a variety of videos a variety of length in videos the challenge is one video a day but some videos are shorter so that you don't have an excuse to forget about you and that's number one is just remembering to take care of yourself um i'm still not sure whether i'm going to include what i'm calling a weekly meal plan um or if i really shouldn't touch upon that because i don't want it to be something that's um triggering to anybody if um, I really am not um, qualified to do that or it's just not something that you need. But I also don't want to under deliver for somebody who's looking into that and thinking it might need more. Um, so if I do include it, it's less of a set rule for food, but with a reflection on how you listen to your body. So for me, I have a lot of allergies and restrictions and um, I get like a rash from eating things that I shouldn't eat along with stomach trouble and so for me my challenge is not weight loss based although you know sometimes we do want that um, sometimes we don't want that but for me it's I need to really pay attention to what makes me feel sick and track that and maybe make smarter choices to not feel sick. Um, so for me, like I can't give you what my ideal food plan is because like I can't have cheese, I can't have bread, I can't have eggs. So breakfast is pretty much ruled out and I, you know, like I'm allergic to tomato now and corn and all these things that that's not ideal for most people. And it's really hard for me to adhere to, which is why. I am trying to be mindful of that with this program. So still deciding whether or not I should include that. And I'd love to hear from you whether you would like that element included in there and it, what that could look like for you. Um, but I will include weekly recipes because I love to cook and I love finding a um, healthy way of making something that is normally, you know, full of things that maybe aren't the healthiest and especially around the holidays we have a lot of rich foods and I always love finding a healthier way to make that um when I was 10 years old I remember finding a healthy potato latka recipe so maybe I'll include that for our Hanukkah stretch in there but I will be making um posts that are recipes but I'll also do videos uh once a week those videos will be like cooking with me um, you're going to get a 20% off coupon code at shop.pilatespunks.com and that's up to you whether you use that on yourself to buy something for you or you use that as your holiday shopping for gift giving. Um, and then we're going to basically do Pilates Punks check-ins so you know that I'm pushing myself right alongside you so it's going to be sort of like blog posts of how I'm dealing with what we're putting out there but this is going to be an interactive place for you to comment and post and you can always message me and I'd love to hear from you check-ins of how you're feeling through this program. So I'm starting the challenge the day before Thanksgiving and running it until Christmas Day and you're probably there like thinking like Thanksgiving really you're gonna start this before Thanksgiving and I'll tell you why I'm doing this. I have struggled usually each year with like working out too hard before Thanksgiving and eating too little and prepping myself and then skipping breakfast on Thanksgiving day and then eating way too much and feeling overly full on Thanksgiving and then waking up the next day and being like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. I need to reset and working out too hard and not eating enough. And it's time to break that cycle. So what I'm doing is Wednesday, that's going to be our normal day. We're going to have a workout. You're going to wake up in the morning. You're going to work out. You're going to take care of yourself. Thursday, it's Thanksgiving. You might be lucky enough to be with loved ones and you're with your family. You might be at home. You might be in LA. You might be somewhere else. You're going to wake up. You're going to stretch your body. You're going to do a stretch video. You're going to see my face. We're going to stretch together. We're going to feel good. We're going to move. And then we're going to enjoy Thanksgiving. The next day, we're not beating ourselves up. We're going to stretch again. And then we're going to ease into a nice workout and we're going to feel really good because 
once you get that movement in your body and get those endorphins kicking in, your mind can feel a lot better and we can feel great and we can be already day three into our journey. We're not starting to guilt ourselves at all, right? And then we're gonna run all the way until Christmas and I'm not gonna tell you anything about what each day is gonna look like, but I will tell you, I'm going to have reminders in there for you about why we're doing this and why we're taking care of ourselves. And it's not about any sort of feeling like we should be guilty, feeling like we screwed up. It's about feeling good all the way through. And you're welcome to challenge people to do it alongside with you. It could be great if you have someone in your life like, I'm doing this and a lot of you, if you've been doing videos through quarantine, you've seen Charlie, my fiance, I'm challenging Charlie to this. Um, Charlie, I'm sitting in the room right now that he uses as his office because he's working from home. He doesn't leave this room for like 12 hours. He'll come in at nine in the morning at, at 9 p.m. I'll be like, hey, you should turn off your computer and go to bed. Um, and when he works out, when he fits that in, he feels great. And so he's excited for this challenge and I'm excited to have him do it alongside with me. So um, please take me up on this challenge. I'm doing this on Patreon, which I'm really new to. So there's going to be a link to join my Patreon. And challenge your friends to do it with you or challenge your loved ones. And um, this is a challenge for me too. Like it's really hard for me, but this is holding me accountable and I'm going to lead by example. So I'll be eating more mindfully. I'll be moving daily. I'll be drinking less. But most importantly, I'm gonna be beating myself up less. I'm a work in progress. I promise you I am. And as I'm working on this, I do also promise you'll still get your asses kicked and I will kick your butt so hard all the way into 2021. So please follow the link and join the Patreon. Join me for this 30 day challenge and join me for what I think will be the best holiday season yet. So uh, I look forward to seeing you guys and hearing from you soon. And I look forward to uh, this challenge and we're starting really soon.